Whether you're someone's assistant or you're just stepping in for your manager for a week, you might need to compose and respond to messages on someone else's behalf. In this short video, we'll use Delegate Dave and Manager Meredith to show us how Dave can become a delegate of his manager's inbox and send a message to their coworker, Frank. To set this up, Meredith must grant Dave direct access to her Gmail account. Once Dave has been granted access, he can view Meredith's inbox, send messages from her address, and respond to messages for her as well. He will not, however, be able to chat on her behalf, change her password, or modify many of her account settings. Let's see how this works. To grant access to a delegate, the manager, in our case, Meredith, must first sign into her inbox. She clicks the gear icon, then picks Settings from the menu. Under Accounts, in the section for granting access to your inbox, she clicks the link to add another account and enters the email address of her delegate, in this case her assistant Dave. She then goes to the next step and clicks the link to send Dave an invitation to access her mail. Dave's name and email address appear as the delegate with pending next to his name. All right, let's have Dave sign into his mail account. Dave needs to accept Meredith's invitation to manage her mail before he can send messages for her. Once he accepts, pending turns to accepted in Meredith's settings, showing that Dave now has access to her inbox. This may take up to 30 minutes to complete, so don't worry if you don't see it right away. Now, when Dave clicks on his photo, he sees his basic profile information. Below it is Meredith's email address, which she has delegated to him. To switch from his own inbox to Meredith's, Dave just needs to click her photo. Looking in Meredith's inbox, Dave sees that she's received a message from Frank. Dave can reply to the message from Meredith. Then, when Frank receives the message, he can see that the response is from Meredith, but sent by Dave on her behalf. If you have any questions, please check out our Learning Center at learn.googleapps.com.